Have you ever wondered when you first noticed William Haynes? Perhaps it was in one of those classic Hollywood films that left an indelible mark on the silver screen. Now, what sets William Haynes apart from his contemporaries of the era? It's a question worth pondering, considering the multitude of stars that graced the cinematic stage during his time. William Haynes, born in 1900, wasn't just a charismatic actor. He was a trailblazer in his own right. His on-screen presence was marked by a natural charm that seamlessly blended with a keen wit, distinguishing him from the rest. His performances in silent and early sound films showcased a unique ability to capture the essence of the characters he portrayed, leaving an enduring legacy in classic Hollywood. As you reflect on the golden age of cinema, consider sharing your most cherished memory or personal experience related to William Haynes in the comments below. Your stories add depth to the narrative of this iconic actor and contribute to the collective appreciation of his contribution to film history. Now, let's dive into some random facts about William Haynes, shedding light on the lesser known facets of his life and career. Discover the man behind the screen, and feel free to share your thoughts as we explore the captivating world of classic Hollywood. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to William Haynes? We'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. Now, let's uncover the layers of this classic Hollywood actor's life. Stay tuned for some intriguing insights into William Haynes. William Haynes, the silver screen sensation of the Roaring Twenties, wasn't just a dashing leading man. He was a force that defied the norms of Hollywood. Born on January 2, 1900, in Staunton, Virginia, Haynes embarked on a journey that would leave an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Before his Hollywood conquests, Haynes served in World War I, an experience that shaped his resilience and tenacity. However, it was on the stage that he found his true calling. Blessed with charisma that could light up a room, Haynes made the leap to silent films, quickly becoming a darling of audiences. What set Haynes apart was not just his acting prowess, but his unapologetic authenticity. At a time when many struggled to conceal their true selves, Haynes openly embraced his homosexuality, a decision that eventually led to his departure from MGM in 1933. Rather than succumbing to societal pressure, Haynes chose love over a lucrative career, a move that remains commendable even by today's standards. Despite the setback, Haynes' resilience knew no bounds. He transitioned to interior design, carving a niche for himself in a field far removed from the glitz of Hollywood. His keen eye for aesthetics and innovative designs attracted a high-profile clientele, including luminaries like Joan Crawford and Carol Lombard. Haynes' life wasn't just a tale of triumphs. It was a testament to the power of authenticity and the courage to defy societal norms. His legacy extends beyond the silver screen, reaching into the realms of individuality and self-expression. In 1973, William Haynes left this world, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire generations. His life wasn't a script penned by Hollywood. It was a narrative of authenticity, resilience, and the unwavering pursuit of happiness. After conquering the silver screen in the Roaring Twenties, William Haynes, a Hollywood icon, took a bold leap into a different spotlight. In 1937, he showcased his interior design prowess by redecorating the home of Jack L. Warner and his second wife Anne Boyard. The property later underwent a complete transformation under the ownership of David Jeffen. Haynes, not one to shy away from the spotlight, burst onto the Hollywood scene after winning the New Faces of 1922 contest. His confident entrance to the Goldwyn Co. Studio Brass with the announcement and their new prize beauty set the stage for a remarkable career. Transitioning from acting to interior design, Haynes found his first clients in Layla Hyams and her husband Phil Berg who happened to be Haynes' agent. This marked the beginning of a second act in Haynes' professional journey, showcasing his eye for aesthetics and innovative designs. William Haynes' story goes beyond the glitz of Hollywood. It's a narrative of reinvention and success in the face of societal norms. From a charismatic leading man to a trailblazing interior decorator, Haynes' legacy is a testament to authenticity and the pursuit of happiness. Decorating the home of Claudette Colbert in 1934, William Haynes showcased his interior design prowess, possibly recommended by mutual friend Carol Lombard. This marked a significant moment in Haynes' second act, transitioning from a charismatic leading man to a trailblazing interior decorator. 
His eye for aesthetics and innovative designs attracted high-profile clients, leaving an indelible mark on the world of interior design. Haynes' story goes beyond Hollywood glitz, reflecting a narrative of reinvention and success in the face of societal norms. From a confident entrance to the Goldwyn Co. studio to a celebrated interior decorator, Haynes' legacy remains a testament to authenticity and the unwavering pursuit of happiness in different spotlights. Amidst the glitz of Hollywood, William Haynes faced a pivotal moment in his personal life during the production of Are You Listening? In 1932, pressured to marry, he proposed to friend and frequent co-star Anita Page. However, she declined, and their friendship endured beyond the rejection. Not just a Hollywood heartthrob, Haynes initially caught the industry's attention by winning the New Faces of 1922 contest sponsored by the Samuel Goldwyn Co. This triumph paved his way into the world of acting, with a contract that later shifted to MGM following a company merger. A fellow winner, Eleanor Boardman, shared in the early recognition. Beyond the silver screen, Haynes had a noteworthy political affiliation. An active supporter of the Republican Party, he maintained a close friendship with none other than Ronald Reagan. This connection added a political dimension to Haynes' life outside of the entertainment realm. In the intricate tapestry of William Haynes' life, these aspects provide a unique lens into the man behind the Hollywood persona. From rejected proposals to political alliances, Haynes' journey was a mosaic of personal and professional intricacies. Decorating William Powell's home in 1934, William Haynes left an enduring mark on the world of interior design. Carol Lombard's likely recommendation attests to Haynes' reputation in the field. Transitioning from a leading man in Hollywood to a celebrated interior decorator, Haynes showcased his eye for aesthetics and innovative designs. Amidst his Hollywood success, Haynes secured stand-in and extra work for his partner Jimmy Shields during his MGM days. Despite Shields' lack of interest in an acting career, he remained a constant presence on set, forging a unique dynamic within the industry. In the early 1930s, Haynes leased his renovated house to Tallulah Bankhead adding another layer to his multifaceted life. This strategic move showcased Haynes' business acumen and further solidified his presence in both Hollywood and the real estate scene. These lesser-known facets of William Haynes' life provide a nuanced perspective on the man behind the Hollywood persona. From interior design triumphs to personal and professional relationships, Haynes' journey was a mosaic of intricacies that extended far beyond the silver screen. As our journey through the legacy of renowned actors and their indelible mark on entertainment draws to a close, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the incomparable talent of William Haynes. An icon of the silver screen, Haynes' performances transcend time, resonating with audiences across generations. The profound impact of William Haynes' presence on screen remains etched in the memories of many. His ability to breathe life into characters, infusing them with depth, Humor and sincerity is a testament to his unparalleled skill. Whether it's the captivating charisma in show people or the compelling portrayals in Brown of Harvard and Tell It to the Marines, Haynes' performances left an enduring imprint on the landscape of cinema. Now is the time to honor and celebrate the magic that William Haynes brought to the world of entertainment. I encourage you, dear reader, to share your cherished recollections, your favorite scenes, or the ways in which Haynes' performances have touched your life. Your personal connection adds depth to the appreciation of this exceptional artist. In paying tribute to William Haynes, we acknowledge the profound impact and everlasting contributions made to the world of film and storytelling. His dedication, talent, and the timeless essence of his work continue to inspire and captivate audiences, transcending the confines of an era. Thank you for allowing us to delve into the magnificent realm of William Haynes' artistry. Your participation in commemorating this cinematic luminary is deeply appreciated. Your engagement preserves the rich tapestry of entertainment history. May the resonance of William Haynes' brilliance endure, inspiring future generations and keeping his legacy alive. Thank you for your time and unwavering interest.